Hi, my name is Glenn Martinez from Ola Monte Gardens. We've installed this new system here at KCC. That's Kapilani uh, Community College in Honolulu, Hawaii. This is a system that is uh, uh, special in that it has a 300 gallon fish tank. Inside of here we have tilapia fish. You have 300 gallons, you can have up to 100 fish. We start them off with about 30 to 40 fish to get started. What's unique about this system is the water here is going to be pumped up through here. This is an air pump. This is an air wand. At the end of this pipe, there are holes in it. It comes out, the air comes out in the two inch pipe, pumps the water up to here, and then goes down this way. What's special about this? Well, the water comes out of the fish tank here, comes over, it goes down four feet into the ground. It's like a well. So the actual water level inside the two inch pipe is about here, the same as the fish tank. So the water, the air is being released in the water about six feet down, and thus it pumps it up to here. So we're able to pump up about a 45 inch height at 450 gallons an hour. The water then comes out here and there's one, two, three outputs into the three cinder beds. The cinder beds are kept level, they're double tray. The top tray has holes every three quarters of an inch, about a quarter inch diameter. These are filled full of cinder. The cinder is our bio filter. These beds will fill up to this height here, and this height is determined by this pipe siphon over here. So when the water comes up here, water seeks its own level. So when those three trays fill up over there, the water will fill up here. It will come over here, it will fall down. This is called the bubble collision. When it falls down, the water will hit and splash in the water in the teeth. It will bubble, it will move through the upsweep of the 45. The air will be released, the water will come down, and it's a parallel release. One third of the water into each one of these trays. So it's pretty simple, dirty fish water, gets air pumped up to the cinder bed, biofilters, you have a common drain, comes all the way down to your siphon, the pipe siphon comes to here, releases the water. The trick is turning it off. Up here you have a manual air release, at any time you can open this, that will shut the siphon down by breaking the vacuum. Otherwise, this piece of pipe, the one inch pipe you see coming across, center bed and it's pre-adjusted to shut down the one inch from the bottom of the second tray. So these ways will fill up with water up to this level that pushes all the air out. Okay? Then when the water goes down it sucks the air in. So when it fill up it's exhaling in the garden. When the water goes down that's the inhale. And so that's it. It's just a recirculating system goes around and around. We supply them with a dechlorinator, the big purple device is used to dechlorinate the water, a big filter. You never want to put chlorine into these systems. That will kill the bacteria that's turning your ammonia into nitrogen. Hi, right, I wanted to share a few features with you here. These are our double trays. The top tray has a hole, quarter inch diameter, every three quarter inch, full of black cinder. These are going to fill up with water, then the siphon's going to drip and drain them. The water comes in by these. These are just up or down to adjust for an even flow. Hi, Glenn here to share to you about the magic of our Big Island Cinder. Every square foot of this has three to four hundred square feet of flat surface on it. This is a bio medium. What this does is give a home to the nitrifying bacteria. That's a bacteria that will take the ammonia fish water that's coming in here 24 hours a day. This will fill up every 10 minutes and drain in two to three minutes. So it's anywhere from a 12 to 15 minute cycle, filling up and draining down. This water is full of ammonia, but when it leaves here, it'll be full of nitrogen. That's a nitrite, nitrate bacteria that live in the volcanic center on all those little cracks and crevices, and they will change it. Now, what we got here is just the fish nutrition coming in. The added bonus we do, by having this sack here, we can take casting, worm castings, regular compost, whatever, put it into this bucket here. And this bucket goes up and down as the boat, as the bed is going up and down, the water in the bucket is going to go up and down. Thus it's going to flush that nutrients and that microlite into the system. So that's the way you have outside inputs coming into your garden.
morning is that these are the net pots. You're going to fill these with the cinder to about here or gravel of your choice. Then I do soil blocking on the inside of that. I sprinkle a couple of rocks around you to hold it in place. And then I put them in the hole here. Underneath this is the water. And here you see our design. It's a coupling with a slit in it. And it goes over here and it turns such as to adjust the water to drain down. So when we flush into here, the water will come all the way to the maximum height. And then before the next flush, it will drain down. So I'm ready to take the hit and it evens out the flow. So you notice in here you've got about 24 of these net pots in each one of these trays. So each one of them is a little under 20 inches wide by three feet across, so they're very manageable. The straight forward, straight forward system. This is a dechlorinator. It's real important. If your municipality puts chlorine or bromide into your water or some kind of purification chemical, you need to determine what it is and put on appropriate charcoal filter or a filter that will remove it. If you do not remove the sterilizing chemical, you got a problem that you're going to sterilize your cinder beds. If you sterilize your cinder beds, you're going to kill all the beneficial bacteria, and that's pretty messed up. So what we do here, you hook your hose here, water comes out the other end, no chlorine. There's a replaceable filter in here available at West Marine uh, stores. It's about $52 for it. Lasts you about a year. So that's about it, folks. Clear water. 